Dylan started having some health issues around six months old. The, the cystic fibrosis team at Children's do a very good job of bringing you in and really trying to educate you right away. You learn that there are ways that you can help your child and once we began to learn what these treatment methods were and began to provide the treatments to him, we could see a great improvement. I don't think as a parent dealing with, with a child that has an illness that you could get beyond it or be able to live with it unless you have that support. And the people at Children's, anytime Dylan is getting ill, beginning to cough more, I call them immediately and they immediately respond. And they know your child, they know, they know everything about him. Each time you go in, they know him by name, they, they talk to him on his level, um, and he knows them now. I don't believe anybody would know walking up to Dylan that he has cystic fibrosis unless you would point it out to them. He likes to ride his bike. He's very active. He has two older brothers. He keeps up with them. He, he's, in some cases, in some ways, more active than they are at times and, uh, and never slows down. If he hadn't been diagnosed by them, and we had been to many, many doctors prior to arriving there, you know, I, I don't believe we'd be in the position we are right now and that he would be as healthy and active and, and doing the things that he's doing. They're sensitive to your feeling as a parent and what the child's feeling and it's pretty special. four and a half uh, when he was diagnosed. Since we've gotten him on the uh, doing the treatments and the, uh, the three-month clinic appointments and things like that, uh, it's improved greatly. I don't think there's any, any better in the country than what we've got here. Uh, they're outstanding. He does everything else that, that, that anybody else can. His passion's golf. He's uh, had the club in his hand for only three years and uh, I've been doing it for years and he whips me, so. He would not be where he's at today if it weren't for the, the doctors and, and the clinics here. I've grown pretty close to a couple people upstairs, you know, that I've seen my whole life, and I wanna say it's really personal. They, they really care about what they're doing for you and they, they, they do whatever it takes to make sure that you're comfy and that you're healthy and that you're just have the best visit as possible. I love to golf, I love to go fishing. I love being out of my grandma's camper at Lenoma, you know, swimming. Uh, in the winter, I love to snowboard. CF doesn't interfere with any of, the, any of that. I golf every chance I get, and I don't know, it's just a chance for me to get out there and kind of get away from everything and my CF and all that and just have a good time. Uh, I think that Children's obviously has great advantages to uh, offer uh, families, uh, family-oriented, child-oriented. We work both at the University Med Center and here, uh, and we're bringing that team together. We'll be able to do that uh, with the new clinic building, and, and that's going to be a real, a real positive move. We are in the top tier of CF centers, I'm happy to say. Uh, I think that's partly us, and it's partly our patients. I'm always amazed how, how well adjusted our patients are and, and how they just uh, take it as a, a matter-of-fact type of thing. I, I have CF, but it doesn't define me.